This is video four in my series of readings from chapter one of my paranormal novel Witchlight. In the previous extracts, uh, Holly has learnt she's a witch, has learnt how to spin a pencil, and she and Partridge now have to deal with the consequences. You'd better stop it now. The pencil carried on spinning. How? Exactly the same process as before. Decide, will, direct. Partridge waited. The pencil carried on spinning like the world depended on it. Sometime now would be good. The pencil was an audibly spinning blur. Holly started to panic. It's not working. I can't make it stop. You stop it, please. The pencil appeared to be smoking. Small blue flames started to dance along its length. Partridge rolled his eyes with a pained, oh God, expression on his face. Oh fucking hell, this is going to hurt both of us. He stared at the pencil, which stopped spinning abruptly and fell to the table, just as a searing pain ripped through Holly's skull. Partridge winced simultaneously, then produced two aspirin and a glass of water from thin air and gave them to Holly, whilst producing another glass and a couple of pills for himself, which he downed rapidly. Right, now do you believe me? Holly looked quite shaken. Yes, I guess I have to, don't I? Good, some progress at last. So what have you learnt from all this? Learnt? Oh, uh, you mean decide, will, direct. And I don't need to move my lips. And? Stopping a spell hurts? Stopping someone else's magical intention with your own hurts both of you. It's like headbutting someone, so don't do it unless you really have to. So, what else? Else? Holly examined her empty glass. Um, I guess magic can't fix headaches. Normally it can, but in this case you'd be trying to fix something with the very thing that needs fixing. Aspirin is quicker and more reliable. What else? There's more? Yep. Holly just looked puzzled. Partridge tried again. What went wrong? The pencil wouldn't stop spinning. But why not? I got it wrong. Yes, but what did you get wrong? I didn't make it stop. You never decided it needed to stop, did you? You envisioned it spinning, you willed it to spin, you directed your will at the pencil and made it spin, but you didn't envisage it stopping. I didn't believe that it would actually start to rise, let alone spin, so thinking about it stopping was neither here nor there. And now you know different. And now I know different. You need to be precise when deciding what you want to happen. Say you choose to make yourself look a bit younger. If you aren't precise in deciding how much younger you want to look, and when you want the youthing process to stop, you risk getting younger and younger until you end up unborn. You need to make sure there is a clear conclusion, a full stop, built into what you are doing. Holly nursed her head in the palm of her hands. Lesson learned. Good. The kitchen was once more silent, but the silence did not seem as spiky as before. Just thoughtful and a little hungover. Is there anything else I should know? Lots! That's why I'm here! Think of me as your driving instructor in magic, if you prefer it to the fairy godfather. We have quite a few lessons ahead of us, but I think you've had enough introductory session for one day. Anyway, you've got some explaining to do.